Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me. If you're brand new here, then welcome. If you are returning, then I'd like to thank you for coming back. So watch to the end. If you like what you see, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So my name is Susan Timchak, also known as Sweet Bee Embroidery. Sweet Bee Embroidery. I <laughs> have to kind of emphasize that a little bit. So what I'm playing around with today, and I know I've been MIA for a little bit, but uh, well, you know, life gets in the way. So what I was playing around a little bit today with was this freestanding lace embroidery. Uh, it's a little hard to see there. Um, 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 um. Let me try to do this. Maybe you can see that better. So this is still wet. Um, I just finished it and ran it um, in warm water to kind of melt away all of the um, stabilizer that I used. So um, if you watch my bookmark uh, video, you and I'm sorry, I'm lost for words. I think it's post-COVID. But if you watch that, then you would see the um, type of stabilizer I'm using. And let me just, without knocking everything over, let me just go and grab it off my other desk. So you can use two different types of stabilizer to do freestanding lace. You can use the, the mesh water soluble stabilizer. But I've been using, oops, and it's going to be turning around, this ultra... <coughs> excuse me, ultra solvy uh, water soluble stabilizer. And um, this says it dissolves in water. And yes, it does. And the weight on this is heavy. So it's not the one that reminds you of plastic wrap. This is a real heavy duty stabilizer. And you want to use something that's water soluble because once you're done with this, um, you're just going to want to go ahead and run it under warm water, and all of this stabilizer will go away. It just disappears, melts, kind of, sort of, if you want to call it that. So um, I thought this was really cool. Now, once this totally dries, it'll stiffen up. And here's a little hole in the top to put your ornament that you can hang. What I also did was I have a um, Brother P-Touch um little machine let me grab it sorry that's my cat she kind of thinks you know she wants to steal the show so it's this little brother p touch machine and you use it for making labels and not only does it make like label labels it also can do um, fabric labels okay so a little piece of ribbon so what i thought would be fun is i printed this out it has different fonts in it and I printed out Christmas 2021, and I thought that would be so cool to just kind of use a little bit of glue on there and maybe, you know, zhush it up a little bit. <coughs> so sorry, my throat is so dry. Glue that on there, zhush it up a little bit, and um, <clears throat> tie it on packages or anything like that. So I'm going to do the stocking one. So I just did one just to see the snowflake. But before I start... I want to make sure I have a brand new bobbin in here. Now, when you're making these, you can make them any color you want them to be. The only thing I would suggest is you have the same color bobbin as the same color thread. And I'm struggling here. Hold on a sec. You want them to be the same color. Now, this is a design. My goodness, what is my problem here today? This is a design by Juju, and she has um, quite a lot of different collections you can choose. So this one has the snowflake, it has a stocking, it has an ornament, and the snowflake stocking, ornament, and I can't think, oh, a bell. So um, I really love this. And so I have my stabilizer in my hoop. Now what I did ahead of time is um, I took a double-sided sticky tape and I glued it on the inside of the base hoop. So the one that has the little extension on it. I ran it all along the inside. So that's gonna help keep my 
stabilizer nice and taut and tight because you do want to make sure that you have your stabilizer tight. And I know somebody watched um, the bookmark one and they said, you can move it around and you can get two on here. Well, I'm only wanting to do one and I'm just going to keep it in the center of the hoop. But you can certainly use a larger hoop and add in multiple ones. But this one is a little bit less stitches than the snowflake. The snowflake was very intricate. The snowflake took about 30 minutes to make. This one is 12,141 stitches and it's only 19 minutes. So I want to see how this one's going to turn out. So I have it all loaded in and it does come in multiple sizes. And you also get where you can do it all one color or there's a, also a download when you purchase it that you can do multiple colors. But right now I'm doing one color. So they're super easy to make. Whatever color you want them to be, just make sure your top thread and bottom thread match depending on whatever color you want. I like the white because I like traditional lace. So let me stop gibbering for now and let's get this party started, right? Okay, so uh, there we go. I thought my um, needle was unthreaded, but um, I'm making a funny noise there. My bobbin's kind of jumping around. I'm gonna stop this. Let me see. You see my bobbin kind of jumping around in there. So I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna cut my thread because I just don't like the way that bobbin is jumping around. And I don't know. Um, here's a different box of bobbins that I have. And I just don't wanna end up with having a problem I'm going to take this one out and put that on to the side and use a different uh, bobbin here. I don't want to end up having a problem, um, you know, with, with this. So I'm going to use a different bobbin. I don't know. Um, I had issues getting that one to even load. So, I mean, I know I have not embroidered for quite some time. And I promised you last week that I was going to embroider something and... Oh, there's a little sticker residue on here that might be creating some havoc. Let me just go get um, some hand sanitizer and kind of clean that sticky residue up. Okay, here it is. I need to replace some of mine. So I have a little bit of sticky residue. It could have been what came from the underside of that hoop. So I use a little bit of hand sanitizer because um, it has alcohol in it. You can use alcohol, but I just want to remove that sticky residue there so that um, nothing sticks. Okay, that looks good. And just a rag. I keep a towel up here in my craft room that I use. And, um, okay. I'm going to put my hoop back in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my plus and minus. And I'm going to go back 10 stitches. And that's just in case, you know, I missed anything or, you know. It's just going to go over it again. And, uh. You know, give it a little base before it starts. And I'm looking at that bobbin to see. That bobbin seems to be moving very nice. The other one was kind of jumping up and down. I don't know. You probably can't see it from the angle that you guys are at. But anyhow, let's check out this stocking. And I'm not sure. I think this is, oh, I don't know. I either did the three inch or the four inch. I believe the snowflake was the four inch size. So I thought I downloaded all of them four inches. They go three inch, four inch, and I believe five inch. But I just just trying them out, see how they're working. And I think these would be really cute. Um, you know, maybe you have a little uh, secondary tree and you like to do a country. You know, you, you can also make these to tie onto packages. I like the idea of printing off the ribbon. I think that's super cute. 
and gluing that on and giving them as gifts. But this is so easy. You just set it and forget it, except, you know, you want to stay in the and, and watch it um, stitch or just be in the local vicinity of it stitching because you know what happens once you walk away, oh my gosh, something is bound to happen. So if you don't have this type of stabilizer, you can use the mesh stabilizer. I probably would use uh, two layers of mesh. Make sure it's hooped up, <clears throat> excuse me, really well, really nice and tight. Um, some people, like I put the tape inside to hold it. Some people put little T-pins on the outside to hold it. But you wanna definitely make sure that your stabilizer is, um, you know, very secure in there because there is a lot of stitches going up and down and up and down. Well, a lot of needle penetration up and down, up and down is what I should say. And because this, this is all thread, it's all thread. There's no fabric, there's no nothing. The whole thing is thread, which is why it's called a freestanding lace ornament. So anyhow, um, like I said, I know last weekend on my Facebook page, you know, I was asking any suggestions for anything. Um, one of the comments, and <clears throat> I had to chuckle because it was like everything on your USB stick. Because I was like, what, what would you like me to, to stitch out for you? everything on your USB stick and I, thought, I just had to chuck on myself I thought "Ooh, you don't know how many designs are on my USB stick but I just have a hard time trying to um, you know think of what is it that I haven't shown what is it that you know you, you'd be interested in seeing so if there is something in particular and if I'm able to get the design make sure you make a comment down below in the comment section and you know be nice be you know, <laughs> respectful. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have this like frog in my throat today. But, um, so anyhow, so what's been happening with me? Well, I'll tell you, since you asked. Um, I have not been feeling well lately, and I did go to the doctor and had some blood work and found out that my A1C is higher than it was last time. So many of you, if you don't know, um, A1C has to do with your sugar level, your glucose level. And it's the level over the past three months. And um, with me not feeling well, that would make a lot of sense. Now I am a pre-diabetic, which now I'm type two diabetic. So I was on medication, so he made a change in my medication, added something else. And uh, added another medication to help protect my heart because, you know, when you take one medication, it just it seems like you need another medication because of what that medication does. Not only to help you, but most of the time it causes another problem. So we all can relate to that. So two more medications added to my list, along with the, all the other medications I take. So I've been um, watching my carb intake, you know, really cut my carbs down and uh, trying to eat more healthier. But I'll tell you what, um, I don't know if it's that heart medication I'm, he put me on, but I am just so tired. So absolutely tired all the time. I go to work and I come home and I'm just exhausted. So when I offered you know, to, to do some stitching for you for last weekend. I mean, I got involved in a few other things and I was just exhausted. I just, I couldn't do it, I just couldn't do it. So um, if, if you're like me, if you're like, I'm 60 years old and um, work a full-time job, have a part-time business, um, take care of a home, two animals, um, just every day, to, day-to-day -day things and life that we have to do you're like me I'm sure you can relate that after the end of a long day at work you're just plumb tired and it's exactly what I've been going through but today is Saturday and what is the date today oh my gosh let me see what the date today is Saturday October 23rd 
and um, I don't work weekends, so I know on the weekends I got to get done all those things I couldn't do during the week. So my dog gets me up super early. Today she slept in until about 6.30 as opposed to 5.30. So I've been up since then, and right now it's uh, 2.40 p.m., and um, I got up early this morning with her and started right off. I had gotten, um, I, I had delivered Misfit Market. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. I did a couple unboxings with that. And it's basically um, all organic produce and, and other items too that um, maybe like the sweet potatoes are kind of like oddly shaped or like there's nothing wrong with it but it's all organic and it you choose what you want and it gets shipped delivered shipped and delivered right to your door so i had a package of um this pumpkin muffin bread mix and all you add are three eggs a little bit of oil and some water so i made those and then i got going a pot of chili so i made a whole pot of chili and then um for during the week i like to have like protein so I cooked up um, bacon in the oven. I cut the whole length of them in half so that they're, you know, not as long as a piece of bacon, half size of a bacon, normal size. And I put parchment paper on my uh, Pampered Chef baking tray and I put it in the oven for at 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And I'll tell you, the bacon is like no must, no fuss. You could do a whole pound of bacon. I think it's a whole pound. I don't know. Maybe they cut down the amount of bacon in a package. Who knows these days? All I know is a half gallon of ice cream isn't half a gallon anymore. But I baked that in the oven. And then when it came out, put it on paper towels. And the chili, I put it all in small containers. Let it cool, put it in small containers, and froze it. So that when I want a lunch or a supper, you know, now that fall is here, you can just defrost that and take it out and, you know, maybe sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and throw it in the microwave and you're good to go. So the bacon, I, uh, somebody on Facebook, because I posted a picture, they said, what are you going to do with all that bacon? I mean, it's just me. Um, I like to have it with my hard-boiled eggs in the morning. I also like just to keep it, if I'm having a salad, to maybe chop it up for a salad. Um, something I started doing, I'll tell you, um, I really, really enjoyed it, was to take lettuce leaves and use that instead of bread. And I just made with turkey and cheese, and it would be nice to put that um, bacon on there. And I just rolled it up um, on the lettuce leaf. And I'll tell you, you really, it was nice and crunchy because the lettuce was crisp. And I really did not miss the bacon whatsoever. I mean, the bread. <laughs> I did miss the bacon. <laughs> I didn't miss the bread at all. And I've been eating salads, and I bought a rotisserie chicken, and I cut that all up to make a salad with some cheese. And so I'm trying to cut out the carbs. I've been eating berries and apples and pears and, um, you know, not totally cutting out the carbs, but definitely cutting out a lot of them so um i don't know maybe it's my body adjusting to not having all those carbs but um i've just been tired i'm just i'm just plum tired and uh, my doctor always tells me it's the area i live in he said northeastern pennsylvania it's just it's just we're stuck in this valley here and he goes, you know, he always tells me, you need to go to Arizona. And I'm going to tell you, you know what I think is right? Because when my daughter got married out in Vegas, I felt so wonderful. Every morning I got up and got up right out of bed and was raring to go. Here, oh my gosh, I get up at 5.30 and let's take the dog out and have to get up that early to get everything moving. You know, my arthritis is flaring up and... Temperatures are changing to cooler weather, and uh, so that's that's my excuse as to where I've been. I just I've been here, but I've been tired, and uh, 
the other day I did, actually I did come up here the other day. Um, I did my Facebook Live, which I didn't even have anything available for that for my stamping people. But I sat at the embroidery machine and I was just like, you know, I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know what I want to make. I don't know what I want to do. And I turned around and left the room. But this stocking is turning out really nice. Uh, we have about 4,000 some more stitches to go. Just looking at this part of my machine, it almost looks like it's a piece chipped off. Unless it's made that way. Huh. I don't know. But anyhow. So I have not been embroidering or crafting like, like I have been doing. Although I am still doing my diamond painting. I know I mentioned that in another video. Um, I'm really enjoying that. I have done so many different ones. Um, I just finished two for my grandsons for their room and I'm not going to say what they are in case they're watching. I did a whole bunch for Christmas. I'm doing the Christmas one right now and I did little ornaments. It's, it's kind of a form of cross stitch but you're using little tiny flat backed beads. They and they have like a, they're beveled cut. So when the light hits them, they glisten like, like diamonds. And they're all different colors. And it's kind of like a printed, uh, it reminds me to explain it like a cross stitch, counted cross stitch, but it's on canvas and the whole front of it is sticky. So you take the little dots, the diamond dots, and you put them on the corresponding areas where the color is. So I don't know, I just find it very relaxing. You know, I'll throw on a Netflix movie on my iPad and I have a little table set up where I do my work and just, um, you know, have the movie going or whatever it is I'm watching. And, huh, what are we doing here? Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know why I did that, but this is really pretty. It's very nice and lacy. I love it. I'm going to work on doing all of them, and I saw that there's uh, two other different um, bunches of lace ornaments you can make with a snowman and an angel and I don't know, all different ones. Of course, I love snowmen. I love to collect snowmen. And I almost want to put my snowmen out in the summertime. That's how much I love snowmen. And when I moved into this house, I had a huge, not a huge, but I had a nice collection of snowmen. And a uh, year after moving here, um, we had horrible rains in 2011. I bought this house in 2010. And um, my whole basement got flooded, which is where I store everything. I don't utilize the attic because it's just too difficult for me to go up there and to be bringing stuff down. So everything I owned was in the basement that I wasn't currently in the house with. And all my snowmen I lost in the flood. I had to throw everything out. I lost scrapbooks. I lost so many things. Everything that I store down there, I lost, and I, I was devastated. Right before all that, um, my father had passed away, so I was devastated by that. It was just, um, it was just a bad time in my life. It just, I just felt like, like Murphy's Law. If anything's gonna happen, it, it, it happened to me. But um, you know, they always say things happen for a reason. I'm not really sure why. You know, your house flooding, would there be any reason? But um, it just makes you think more and be more grateful for all the things you do have. I know we always think like, you know, so many, so many bad things happen in the world and why do these things happen? But sometimes you just need your eyes opened up to realize that, you know, all that stuff in the basement, you know, it, it was just stuff, you know, and... 
Um, no worries. I slowly started working up another collection of snowmen. Not the ones like I had, but maybe I didn't really need to have all of them. I don't know. But I love snowmen and I'm so into gnomes. How many of you are into gnomes? Raise your hand. Oh my goodness. I am absolutely in love with gnomes. And, um, I just think they just make me smile. No, I like the gnomes that don't have eyes. You know, where it's just a big chubby nose and the hat's pulled down where you don't see their eyes. I, I just think the eyes, if it, I don't know, for me, the eyes just make them creepy looking. But with no eyes, I just think they're little pudgy guys. And they're just so cute. And girls. Guys and girls. So, this is coming out really nice. Um, we only have about maybe 1,500, 1,500 more stitches. Yeah. I don't know, to me it looks smaller than the snowflake, but maybe because it's stopping. I thought I downloaded all the, um, 4 inch, I know it wasn't 3, was it 3, 4, and 5, I think? And now it's doing a little hanger. I don't know how they judge the size. Is it from like the hanger area down to the toe? I, mean, I wasn't sure what size to download, so I probably would like to do them with the stocking a little bit bigger. I think on a standard tree, it, it may get lost. But these would be cute too to, to put in like, I don't know how many of you send out Christmas cards, but I'm telling you, hand stamp and send out Christmas cards this year. And how beautiful would that be to stick in one of these ornaments? Because it's flat, so it won't cost you, shouldn't cost you more in postage, but just double check to make sure. And have a little tag on it. You know, you can say whatever it is you want, if you want to put Christmas with the year, or whatever you want to do. But I just really think that would mean a lot to somebody. To get a Christmas card from you and let them know that you've been thinking about them, and that you made this beautiful lace ornament for them. And I'm sure they will cherish it from years to come. You could also make, make these as to and from gift tags. Where that little hole is, you can put a little ribbon through that and a little tag to and from. So then it's just not a piece of paper that gets thrown away. It'll be something they'll have to cherish. Okay, so we're doing a little another break here. Huh, that's interesting. Because the snowflake was just one continuous. That's very delicate. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, we're almost done. About another hundred stitches. So it's doing this fine little details right above the heel. So I hope everyone's been doing well. Um, if, Like I said, if you do enjoy watching these, you enjoy my chit chat, um, let me know. I mean, if you don't enjoy the chit chat, you can mute me and just go forward, fast forward to the end, whatever. But I know I watch other embroiderers and I just, watching the machine do its work just totally amazes me. And I just, um, I enjoy watching it. I mean, a lot of um, other YouTubers, they would go and just fast forward through all this and, or just, you know, move on. Oh, we're done. Okay, well, thank you. But I like to do the step-by-step -step so you can see it. All right, so there it is. There is our stocking. So now you may wonder, oh, you know what another fun thing could be? Is if you put that... Um, Oh, what is that stuff called? Um, oh, it'll come to me. But it's kind of like what Mylar. It's called Mylar. They have Mylar, which is kind of like multicolor. And it's just very thin. If you were to lay that down before you stitched, that would be so beautiful. Because the Mylar um, will show right through the ornament and give it a little bit of oomph. So what I'm going to do is while it's in the hoop, 
just going to poke my scissors and I'm just going to cut around this. I'm sorry if I'm off camera, but I'm just cutting around. It just makes it easier to leave it in the hoop because, you know, it's just so fine and, and detailed. But let's not cut our stitching. Okay. So this will come out of the hoop. But I, all I did was I just trim around close enough to it, but without cutting it. And I know I should be using my other scissors, not these. But anyhow, these are here. And then all you have to do is get yourself a warm, uh, a bowl of warm water, put this into the water, and all of this extra stabilizer, just, it's like glue. It just kind of dissipates goes away and um let me bring that little coaster in that and use the back so you can see it and there it is isn't that beautiful there's a little hole up here for hanging but i think it's absolutely beautiful so let's take a look at the snowflake with the little christmas 2021 on it look at how beautiful that is i think you could see that there so let's check the hoop. Let me uh, see what happened with our hoop. I'm just going to unscrew this and take this out. So this part here, the inner part, I don't have any tape on it. And I'm just going to peel this off of here. So some of the um, double-sided tape came off. But all you would do is run the tape alongside the inside of here. And I mean, with because of that stick, that type of plasticky stabilizer, most of it came off. So it just peels right off. So it doesn't do any harm to your hoop. But that, or use T-pins or something, so that, uh, you know, it stays nice in your hoop. But here they are. Some beautiful, whoop, and that's not going to stay on there. Let me just take it off. Some beautiful free lace freestanding lace ornaments that you can add to your tree and yeah maybe they are about the same size i think so so um thank you so much for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this i've enjoyed bringing this to you and um, i'm going to go ahead and put this in warm water and then i'm going to go ahead and stitch out the other designs and i may be even going back to the website and purchasing more of these because i think they came out so beautiful so I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I do answer each and every comment that is posted and tell you how much I do and appreciate you being here. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day wherever it is you are. So until next time, we'll see you then. Bye for now.